So hi everyone, today's video is going to be a haul. This haul was meant to be linked with the London Pet Show and it was meant to be the stuff that I bought from the London Pet Show because that's what I saved the money for. But I didn't buy anything so I thought I would get some stuff from my local pet hut, pet hut and treat the pets. Um, so that's why this haul is here and that's why it refers to the London Pet Show a few times. I'd also just like to say that Misty is mentioned loads of this because this was pre-recorded. I recorded this ages ago. And she was alive, and um, unfortunately she's not anymore, and neither is Mickey. So all this hamster stuff will either be giving away in a giveaway, which I'm going to do when I hit 4,000 or 5,000 subscribers yet. I haven't quite decided. Um, or it will be giving to a new hamster. So the stuff unfortunately can't be for Misty, even though I said that it was. Um, she did pass away a few days after I filmed this, which is such a shame. But there's nothing else I could do about that. Do look forward to some more videos, because I will be doing some more videos on cats and the new pet. But hamster-wise, I won't be doing any new videos of hamsters until I get a new hamster, which hopefully should so be So anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye. So unfortunately I couldn't get anything at the pet show because they sold nothing for small pets which was so annoying. They had chinchilla, rat and guinea pig and rabbit stuff but they didn't have any rodents like gerbils or mice or hamsters. There was no natural sand or anything like apparently a few years ago they had or last year. Um, so I just picked up some tasty nuggets for adult rabbits and this is the budget XL. You all know I don't have a rabbit and I'm not getting one anytime soon even though I hope <laughs> I'm not getting one but I thought because I'm going to be doing a contest soon someone might win with a rabbit and I thought that it would be something that they might like and seeing as they were going for free I just got two packs of the samples so yeah because I didn't get much at the pet show I thought I would treat myself and head down to my local pet hut and grab a few things so here is the pet hut leaflet it's now over 50 stores nationwide and it's just sort of showing you the offers and stuff but at the back it does show you all the places that it has a pet hut so a lot of people have asked me what it is and what you can buy and stuff it's basically loads of stuff, it sells the Naturals range and the Rosewood range which a lot of people like for their small animals and these are all the places that it um, has a place at I'll just zoom in and you can pause the video if you see your place um, but I have one local to me so there's quite a few and it is getting bigger and bigger and more popular. Um, I really recommend it. It's actually a lot of things were on offer today which is partly why I went on a bit of a splurge. So the first thing I got was this board and breakup Woody's Nail Garland. This cost me 3 99 and it was the most expensive product. I do have the football and the rugby ball one but this is the girly one with the hearts and the flowers and I thought that seeing as Misty's a girl I would get her this I know she's not going to chew it but I think it looks super cute and it sort of brightens up the cage so it's just got the purple flowers the blue discs and the pink hearts and it's all in lovely like pastel colours and I love it the next thing I got were the shrimp cookies from the natural zone again and I thought that Misty would really enjoy these. They have like little worms and shrimps in them. Um, and I hope the hams enjoy them. They cost me £1.99. And yeah, I thought they'd be something the hamsters could try. Seeing as I did a clear out, I stocked up on treats and I went for the Naturals range. I then got the Naturals Healthy Fruit Salad. And this is just full of like natural fruits and stuff. And I'm sure... Misty will enjoy this because she is prone to diabetes, it's probably not ideal so I am tempted to give this away in my giveaway slash contest, um, I'll just have to see what I keep and what I give away but yep yeah, and this cost me one ninety nine. I then got these clover cookies I think they are and I got these because they were reduced so I thought why not, they were two nineteen, but now they were one. 49 and yep yeah, that's Tiggs in the background she finds plastic bags good fun <laughs> so they got like parsley and clover and I thought the hums might enjoy those I then have the naturals carotids and these are for a contest I think because I'm pretty sure um, Misty won't take much notice to them um, but they're just the little carrots that a lot of rabbits and guinea pigs seem to like so 
I sort of got them for that. Um, I know a lot of people love the Naturals range, um, and so does Tiggs. <laughs> but I know a lot of people love the Naturals range, so that's partly why I went on a splurge for the Naturals range. And these were one forty nine, which I think is a really good price because there's loads of them in here. And yeah, I think whoever has them, whether it's my hamster or someone on YouTube has them, um, I'm sure they will enjoy. The next thing I got was definitely for the contest, and this was this natural salad bowl. And again, it was reduced from a hefty three pound fifty nine to one ninety nine. So I thought, why not? And I did look at them, and the dates are really good. They're still like the end of this year, so you've still got ages. Um, I don't think that's the reason why they reduced them. I think they were just trying to get new stock in and get rid of the old ones. Um, and Tiggs is interested. But, yeah, I thought that was a good price for that. And I'm sure a rabbit or guinea pig will love these. I then got Corny the Owl, because who doesn't have Corny the Owl? And, yeah, I thought that Misty would love having a nice attack at him. I went through all of them. There must have been about ten of them. And I found the most rounded, the most least squashed. And this was this one, and yeah, it's from Board and Breaker and Rosewood. And Tix is about to pounce on him, <laughs> but he was £2.49, which was pretty pricey. It was one of the most expensive things I got. I then got the Naturals Little Hearts, which is a 100 gram bag, and they just look like this. There's loads of them in there, and I'm sure Misty will really enjoy them, and any future ham to come. Um, and I'm really excited to give those to her and they cost also they I think they cost yeah they cost one pound 49 which isn't bad for quite a big bag so I got a big bag of those and that is all I got it cost me 21 pound 91 um, and so thanks for watching everyone don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you'd love to see more we'll see you next time